Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, 15 problems I have completed on computing the income from business. This is the last and final video on the problems of profits and gains of business or profession. So in this video, last three problems I'm going to explain. This will be the end. In the next video, we'll start the next head of income that is capital gain. So before starting the 16th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the last three problems, then I'll explain all the points. Now, see the 16th one. <clears throat> Sri Ram is the proprietor of a business. His profit and loss account for the year ending 31st March 2020 is as follows. The profit and loss account is given net profit as per profit and loss account is 4,2000. So before reading out the debit and credit items, we see the adjustments. The first adjustment allowable depreciation 66,000. So this 66,000 is the depreciation allowed as per IT rules. So whatever depreciation debited to profit and loss account will be disallowed. And this allowable depreciation will be allowed as fraction. Then brokerage is paid for raising commercial loan. One item brokerage that is given on the debit side. It is saying that this brokerage is paid for taking a loan. So income tax act says any expenditure incurred to raise the loan is allowed as deduction. So nothing to be done. Simply in working note, you should write down. Brokerage paid in getting the loan is allowed as deduction. Bad debts recovered were disallowed earlier. On the credit side of profit and loss account, bad debts recovered is given. And in adjustment it is saying that this uh, bad debts were disallowed earlier. If the bad debts are disallowed earlier, now if it is recovered, it is not taxable. If it was allowed as bad debts earlier, now it is business income. So always you have to see whether bad debts were allowed or disallowed. If it is disallowed, it is not a taxable income. Then advertising expenses incurred for insertion in a magazine released by a political party. So income tax act says advertisement expenditure is allowed as deduction. Provided the advertisement should not be done in any magazine which is published by a political party. So if the advertisement is made in a magazine published by a political party not allowed as deduction according to the provisions of Income Tax Act. Now we'll see how much net profit 4,2000. This 4,2000 is the net profit as per profit and loss account. Not debit side. <coughs> Salaries, it is allowed as deduction. General expenses, allowed as deduction. Discount, allowed as deduction. Brokerage, that is also allowed. Legal expenses, allowed. Advertising, advertising are 18,000 debited to profit and loss account. But in adjustment, it is saying that this advertisement was in a magazine published by a political party. So this 18,000 is disallowed. So here you can see advertising expenses magazine of a political party disallowed. Next comes gifts to relative. Any gift or presentation made to customers for promoting the business is allowed. But if the gifts are given to relatives, it is not to promote the business disallowed. It's a personal expense. So here gift to relatives 12,000 disallowed. Then bad debts are allowed as deduction, but provision for bad debts are disallowed. In every problem, we have seen this point. Provision for bad debts disallowed. Loss on sale of machinery, it's a capital loss. Capital losses are not allowed as deduction. So loss on sale of machinery disallowed. Next comes depreciation. In adjustment, depreciation is given. So whatever depreciation debited to profit and loss account disallowed, 40,000. Then wealth tax, it's a personal tax of the SSC, not allowed as deduction. So wealth tax disallowed. Next comes life insurance premium. That is also a personal expense of the SSC, disallowed. 
life insurance premium then net profit so we have seen all disallowed items the items which are debited to profit and loss account but not allowed as deduction we have added take the total of this 1,13,000 is the total inadmissible expenses add up 4,2,000 plus 130 5,15,000 now from this we deduct the incomes which are not taxable under business income the incomes which are taxable in under other heads but it is credited in profit and loss account so incomes taxable separately first item gross profit is given then rent from house rent from house is taxable under income from house property not under business income so deduct rent from house 31 total next comes interest on securities it is taxable under income from other sources not a business income so we deduct next comes dividend dividend is also taxable under income from other sources not a business income so deduct similarly next one is uh, interest on debt interest on debt received that is also taxable under income from other sources deduct interest on debt lastly bad debts recovered bad debts recovered we have to see whether it is allowed as deduction or disallowed if it is disallowed earlier then bad debts recovered are not taxable so here in the adjustment it is given bad debts recovered were disallowed earlier so now it is not taxable so deduct take the total 87,200 subtract 5,15,000 minus 87,200 4,27,800 right 4,27,800 now deductions allowed as per income tax rules the one item is the depreciation allowable depreciation 66,000 so depreciation 66 so 361 800 this is the income from business so only computational part i'm showing on the board regarding working notes i'm explaining so always keep a notebook calculator pen ready while watching the video and whatever provisions i'm explaining note it down in examination you have to write the working notes example you have to write dividend is taxable under income from other sources interest on security is taxable under income from other sources bad debt recovered is not taxable because it was disallowed earlier rent from property is taxable under income from house property that's why we are deducting right wealth tax is a personal tax so not allowed as deduction life insurance premium is a personal expense not allowed loss on sale of machinery is a capital loss so not allowed as reduction so these are the points you have to write in working note that's all now 17th problem compute income from business of madhu for the from the following information again profit and loss account is given and only two adjustments are given salaries include proprietor salary salary paid to proprietor will be disallowed add back and depreciation allowed as per income tax act when depreciation is given in adjustment so whatever depreciation debited to profit and loss account will be disallowed and depreciation as per it rules will be allowed now debit side salary is 80000 but in this salary of 80000 includes the salary paid to proprietor that is disallowed so salary of proprietor 10000 disallowed and net profit is 5,8,000 that is given in the problem. Next comes income tax is a personal tax not allowed as deduction disallowed. Then sales tax is a business tax GST sales tax excise duty customs duty will be allowed as deduction. So here sales tax allowed bad debts allowed as deduction RBD reserve for bad debts disallowed whether we call it as provision for doubtful debts or reserve for bad debts disallowed so rbd disallowed next comes depreciation disallowed because later on we deduct as per the it rules donations specifically disallowed according to the provisions of income tax act then interest on capital completely disallowed because interest on loan will be allowed interest on capital is disallowed drawing it is not an expense at all disallowed 
then insurance nothing is given so we assume insurance is on the business assets so it is allowed as deduction ha huh? if life insurance is given we will disallow but it is not life insurance only insurance is given we assume business insurance allowed that's all we have taken all the items inadmissible expenses the total inadmissible 3 lakh 10 thousand add up 5 lakh 8 thousand plus 3 lakh 10 thousand 8 lakh 18 thousand now income taxable separately now credit side you see by gross profit 7 lakh rent 2 lakh rent is taxable under income from house property not a business income so deduct rent 2 lakh next comes bank interest that is also taxable under income from other sources not a business income deduct so 2 lakh 10 thousand deduct 6 lakh 8 thousand now deductions allowed as per IT rules so depreciation is given in adjustments that depreciation is allowed 1 lakh 30 thousand so finally 4 lakh 78 thousand is the income from business that's all so again in working note all the points you have to write what I have explained now 18th problem actually it is a repeated problem already problem number 13 we have done 13 and 18th problem are same now I am coming to the last and final problem that is problem number 19 Mrs. Shruti a chartered accountant submits the following receipts and payments account for the year ended compute her professional income so here receipts and payments account is given debit side receipts credit side payments other information gift received 48,000 received from her brother-in-law according to the provisions of income tax act gift received from the clients in appreciation of services rendered is a business is a professional income taxable but here the gift includes gift received from brother-in-law it's a personal gift not a professional income so this 48,000 will be deducted from gifts so debit side you can see gift from clients 85,000 so on receipt side gift from clients 85,000 out of 85,000 48,000 are gift received from brother-in-law deduct 48,000 remaining is tax closing stock of stationery whatever printing and stationery we have purchased from that closing stock will deduct traveling expense include 35,000 on her personal trip to Uti so traveling expenses are allowed but if traveling expenses are uh, incurred for personal purpose it is disallowed so out of the total traveling expenses 35,000 will not be allowed then salary include 35,000 paid to household servant it's a personal expense so here out of the total salary 35,000 are not allowed because it relates to household expenses right now we'll come to the solution now in order to find out the income from profession receipts and payments account is given so we take a revenue receipt of the profession and we deduct the revenue payment of the profession if any other receipt is given we are not going to take if any other payment is given we are not going to take now receipt side opening balance we are not concerned with opening balance audit fees it's a professional income so we will take audit fees 1,25,000 next comes dividend dividend is taxable under income from other sources not a professional income so don't take in working note you should write down dividend received is taxable under income from other sources don't take then examiner's fee that is a professional income so examiner fee 65,000 next comes fee of accountancy work the chartered accountant will do the accountancy work will do the audit will do the examinership so all these are professional so fee of accountancy worth 95,000 is a professional income next comes gifts from clients gift received from client is a professional income but in this gift gift from brother-in-law is included so deduct out of 85,000 48,000 you deduct 35,000 is the professional income next comes rent remember rent is taxable under income from house property not a business income not a professional income ignore institute fees the institute fees received that is also a professional income 
So here institute fees received 74,000. Interest on bank deposit that is taxable under income from other sources, not a professional income. Winning from lottery, that is also it is taxable under income from other sources, not a professional income. So we are not going to take. So whichever receipt which is not related to profession, don't take. Dividend, interest on bank deposit, winning from lottery, and these are the items which are not taxable under profession. So we have taken all. The total of revenue receipt is 3,96,000. From this, we deduct the payments. Payments are staff salaries. Actually, in the staff salary include 35,000 paid to household servant. So this 35,000 not allowed. So out of the total of 1,15,000, 35 not allowed. So how much is allowed? 80,000 salaries are allowed as reduction. Next comes books and magazines, the periodicals, magazines, newspapers, these are allowed. Huh? If only books are given, then it is a capital expenditure, it will be disallowed and depreciation 40% will be allowed if only books are given. Here books and magazines are given, so be allowed fully. Completely 35,000 is allowed. Next comes office expenses, fully allowed as reduction 36,000. Next comes printing and stationery. Out of the total payment for printing and stationery, stock of stationery will be deducted. So printing and stationery 42,000 and stock of stationery 18,000. From 42 minus 18, 42 minus 18, 24,000 is allowed printing and stationery. Telephone expenses 9,500 fully allowed. Then donations not allowed as reduction. Then traveling expenses. So out of the traveling expense, some traveling expense are personal. So deduct the traveling expense. So total 68. 68 minus 35, 33,000 will be allowed. That's all. Take the total of the payments. The total of payments 2,17,500. So 396 minus 2,17,500, 1,78,500. This is the income from profession. That's it. Totally 19 problems I have selected for computing the income from business or profession. If you have practiced all the 19 problems, definitely inshallah you will can be able to face the examination boldly with confidence, provided you must have the patience, interest in learning the subject income tax. Comparatively, students will say income tax is a tough subject compared to accounting or statistics, other, other subjects, but income tax depends on the provisions. It depends on your passion to learn if you want to get the complete command on this uh, income tax subject, you must watch all the videos from beginning to end. So totally five heads are given there. Out of the five heads of income, first income from salary we have completed. So many videos I have prepared and uploaded. And secondly, income from house property, I have completed all the problems. Thirdly, income from business and profession, profits and gains of business and profession, just now completed. The next head is capital gain and the last study is income from other sources so inshallah the next uh, head of income income from capital gain that will start in the next video so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your groups among your friends so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge give your comments and finally don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah we will continue the next topic that is income from capital gain in the next video.